Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are taking a look at the shop. That's right, the shop. I've had this request many times in the past. I'm sorry, there's probably a few people who mentioned it and I don't remember their names, but two people who have mentioned it to me re recently are Eric Kuntz and Wet Coaster. A guy who calls himself Wet Coaster. They've both asked me to go through the shop and explain what all of this stuff does. Now, the shop, <laughs> the shop has a lot of stuff in it, so this is going to be an overview. I will show you a few things, but in general, we're just going to walk through, talk about things a little bit, give a brief explanation, and move on to the next. Otherwise, we'll be here until next week, and <laughs> we don't want that. Nobody's going to watch a video for a week. Well, somebody might, but I wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, let's get started, shall we? So, obviously, when we go into our shop, we've got our tabs across the top. The Brands tab allows you to pick your favorite brand or any brand that you're looking for and uh, find equipment. Obviously, if I want Annaburger equipment, I can click Annaburger and it will pick up anything in Annaburger. Let's do something really quickly. We know there's plenty of John Deere and it's going to show us everything from John Deere. Now, moving right along, we go into our Vehicles category. The first three are reasonably self-explanatory. They are small, medium, and large tractors. When you're looking for a tractor, the thing you really want to keep in mind is your horsepower. Horsepower is going to determine what tools you can pull, how big a tool you can pull, and how successfully you can use that piece of equipment. So that's tractors, and I'm going to throw it out there because everybody knows it anyway. My favorite is the Fent 1000 1050 version large tractors. Moving right along, I think trucks are also very self-explanatory. These are semi-trucks used to pull semi-trailers. No, nothing secretive about that. Everybody knows what a semi-truck is. You're going to hook up to a trailer and tow it where you need to go. Moving right along, we are looking at harvesters. These are standard harvesters for standard crops. And you can see now, when you're looking at a harvester, you also want to take into it consideration horsepower you want to also look at volume right here this is how much it will hold before you have to empty it and then what crops will it pick up wheat barley oats canola sunflower soybeans and corn that's generally what your standard harvester will manage and they come in all shapes and sizes from the little tiny bison all the way up to the massive agco ideal so those are your harvesters. The other thing you want to take into consideration when you're looking for a harvester is what header it will use. We will look at harvester headers when we look at our tools menu. Now, forage harvesters are a special type of harvester. They are used for forage. <laughs> yes, that tells you a lot, doesn't it? Basically what these are used for is to chop crop into chaff to make silage that's the basic purpose of these now they do have multiple headers for different things and for that reason you can see they will do wood chips chaff hay and i believe that's straw or grass it's grass grass and hay i do have a a video on forage harvester headers if you'd like more information about those moving right along we have potato technology now Potato technology is specific to potatoes, obviously, and this is the potato harvester. This potato harvester cuts the tops off the potato plants, harvests them, and then you can unload them into a trailer. It's just a special type of harvester specifically used to do your potatoes. I have a potato tutorial if you'd like to find out more information about that. Sugar beets, same thing. There are multiple different types of harvesters that you can use to pick up sugar beets out of the ground, the panther, the pterodos, the tiger, the mao, which is actually just if you have uh, dumped sugar beets in a heap on the ground, you can bring this machine in and it will pick them back up off the ground for you and you can tip them right into a trailer. The homer will do the same thing. Now these do require a header to be attached to them before you can use them and we'll find those in the tools menu, but we're not there yet. Sugarcane technology. Sugarcane is a special crop and it's a very challenging crop in my opinion, but this is the, on the only motorized sugarcane harvester in the base game. 
it does take a long time, but basically it chops the tops off of sugarcane, uh, harvests it, cuts it into pieces, and then you can unload it into a trailer. If you're lucky, you can find a nice tow behind trailer so you can run this without a helper. Next, cotton technology. Very, very self-explanatory also. This is a cotton harvester and this will collect cotton from your field. You have to use one of these in order to get cotton off of your field. I also have a tutorial on that, so feel free to check that out as well. Forestry machines. Now, forestry is a special animal all by itself. Doing forestry is, I mean, it's it's genuine there are tree farms out there now there are different pieces of equipment in this category the first are simply vehicles to transport logs they all have these little cranes on the back i can honestly say i don't recommend them i don't recommend them at all because the cranes don't function well in my opinion feel free to give it a shot most people come back to me screaming bloody murder saying <laughs> these these cranes are awful. Um, my hair turned white trying to use them, but give it a shot. Maybe you can figure it out where other people haven't. The Sampo, the Komatsu, and the Ponzi are all tree harvesters. You may or may not have seen these in operation at this point. I will give you a brief sample. So I just pulled out a Scorpion King and it's got a head on the front of it right here you can see and this needs to be turned on where it will unfold you're just going to drive up to your tree drop it down as close to the ground as you can get it and it will tell you when it's when it can cut you just need to swing the head until you can get it get it in position move forward and now i've got in my menu the cut option and I can hit X and I can cut that tree and drop it right down the nice thing about this is I can set my cut length so if I hit X again it's going to debranch this tree cut it into smaller pieces like so and they are all going to be uniform exactly 8 meter pieces now going back into our shop we have got the animals category I'm going to skip this one just for a minute because I'm going to come back to it a little bit later. Crop protection. This is pretty straightforward. These vehicles are sprayers. They will spray either herbicide or fertilizer. Run them across your field when you need fertilizer or herbicide. Very straightforward piece of equipment. Next on our list are mowers. Now in this self-propelled mower, this is the Crone Big M. It's the granddaddy of all mowers. You're just going to unfold it, turn it on, drop it down, and mow all the grass you want to for all time. Now, the reason I was waiting for animals is because we've got front loaders, wheel loaders, telehandlers, skid steers. Four different categories for machines that all basically do the same thing. These are designed to pick up bales, logs, pallets, and load them onto a trailer or move them around your farm wherever you want them to go. With that said, I'm going to go back to my animals category and say, look at the Stroutman here. This is a forage mixer. It's a TMR mixer specifically designed for cattle. The back part of this tank will create total mixed ration, which you can feed to your cattle. The front part of this vehicle will clean up after your cattle. I happen to have one, so let's go take a look at it, shall we? So this is our Stroutman. It makes TMR. The reason I skipped over it is because I have a telehandler right here. And this is for specifically set up to load bales. I've got bale fork on it. And I'm just going to grab a couple of hay bales, like so. 8,000 liters of hay. Try not to flip too much too far away. And in this TMR mixer, now TMR has a, it does have a recipe. It's sort of like cooking-ish. <laughs> but you're just going to put in two hay bales, like so. And I need two silage bales, which is what these big green marshmallows look like. And yes, people really do call them marshmallows. They, they really look like a marshmallow. That's going to be 16,000 liters, like so. That looks pretty full, and it has technically officially made TMR at this point, but you can top that off with straw, but you don't want to. So it's generally 
two hay, two silage, and one bale of straw. If this has mixed total mixed ration at this point, and I can run this right over to my cows and feed them up. When I pull into their feed area right here, I can just tip that right in. Now, the other thing that this does, it's got a brush on the front of it. And you can see your animal pens will very frequently, they'll spill food. And so you can drop this down to the ground. Now that it's on the ground, it's sucking that up right back up and putting it right back into my total mixed ration. So that's what the Stroutman Vertimix 1702 will do for you. Moving right along. So we've got little cars. I think cars are pretty obvious. There's only two pickup trucks. There's plenty of car mods out there. Find them. Have fun. We also have a forklift which is going to be basically the same as our front loaders and such. And then we've got the Ropa Nawaro Mouse. This thing is a beast. And I happen to have one, so I'll show you what it does. So this is the beast. <laughs> and the whole purpose of this beast is to simply pick things up off the ground. It will start scooping this up and then dumping it into the trailer. So if you have either accidentally or otherwise drop something to the ground, this will pick it up and you can see it's transferring it right into this trailer. That's what this whole massive piece of equipment does for you. We are now going to move into our tools menu and there's a lot to go through, but most of it's pretty straightforward, so we should get through it quickly. Trailers, obviously these are gonna haul your grains and such, you just wanna keep track of. Look down here because not all trailers carry all things. The trailers on this particular map look like they'll pretty much hold everything, but then, you know, you get to this crone here, and it's only good for specific things like sugarcane, chaff, wood chips, silage. But then other trailers will haul other stuff. So that's trailers. Auger wagons are very much the same thing as a trailer. The only difference is that an auger wagon can empty into a trailer. A lot of times what people will do they'll run this auger wagon out to their harvester and load this and then they can bring it back in and load whatever into a trailer it has a pipe that comes out you just turn it on and tip it right into your trailer so those are auger wagons now we're going to look at our headers these are our headers for our standard harvesters to harvest standard crops wheat barley oats canola and soybeans there are many to choose from some in this category and I keep track down here because right here the capello it will only harvest sunflowers so you want to make sure you're buying the right header for the right harvester if i look at this rustle mash i can see that this is a specific header for the nova 330. so those are standard headers corn headers are very similar except they're specifically designed for corn and sunflowers same situation you've got width you have specific headers for specific pieces of equipment like the john deere will go to the t560 the capello headers are nice because they fold up i like the capello headers a lot and i use them most of the time now forage harvester headers i do have a specific video on forage harvester headers but they come in a variety of different things now one thing that's included in this category is a forage harvester you can mount this on a tractor, run it on the front, and tip this into a, a trailer, potentially one that you're towing behind you. But it's very narrow, it's only two meters, so you're not gonna harvest much at a time, but it does save you the expense of a full-blown forage harvester, and that can only be used on corn. But this header, can, this header here, you can see is for poplar. This one is for grass or hay and these also have brands that will or these will work with their specific brands so this crone will go with the big x 1180. at the end we've got our corn choppers these are specifically designed for chopping corn into chaff potato technology well potato technology has a lot of different stuff in it i have a tutorial on potatoes i would i would check that out if you want a lot more information but the first two pieces of equipment here are planters for potatoes. These are specific to planting potatoes, and it is the only way that you can plant potatoes without something modded. Now as we move along, we've got 
a hallum topper. What a hallum topper is is it cuts the green plants off the top of the potatoes so that you can pull them out of the pull the potatoes out of the ground. So you need to run your field with the topper first and then come behind with this potato harvester. This is a tow behind potato harvester. We'll pull your potatoes right out of the ground. If you've got a powerful enough tractor, you can run the topper on the front and the harvester on the back. The ropa is the same thing. Moving on to beet technology. Beet technology is very similar to potato technology. You've got a topper that you can put on the front. You've got a harvester that you can put on the back and harvest your sugar beets. Now the other th other three objects or other three items we have in this category are the headers that I mentioned for the self-propelled sugar beet harvesters that were in the vehicles menu. Moving right along, sugar cane technology, very similar. Uh, there are special planters specific to sugar cane, these three right here. Now this is another pull behind type um, sugar cane harvester. It's going to harvest one row at a time, basically one meter. And then also in our sugar cane category, we have got trailers that are specific to hauling sugar cane or pulling behind you so that you can harvest your sugar cane. In our cotton technology, now our cotton harvester produces big bales up to 20,000 liters and these trailers are specific to hauling those big bales. They are auto loading. So what you do is you turn the trailer on, you back it up to your bale and it's going to scoop the bale up and pull it onto the trailer. Again, you can find out more about that in my cotton tutorial. Now we come to plows, cultivators, discs, disc harrows, power harrows, and subsoilers. Five different categories for things that effectively do the same thing. First, I'm going to look at our plows and subsoilers. Now, plows are generally used to create fields. Now, if you have periodic plowing turned on, you will need to plow your fields, and it will require a plow to do that. These are chisel plows that run in kind of a, almost a V, not a, not a V shape pattern, but an angular pattern. And they can be a little bit of a challenge to get used to, but they do do a good job. However, these can also create new fields. So if you've got a piece of land that doesn't have a field on it and you want a field there, you can use this to create those fields and plows are the only way you can do that in the base game. Subsoilers do the same job as plows, exactly the same, except they run a flat pattern behind you. Generally speaking, they do require a lot of horsepower, at least to get any real width out of them, they require a lot of horsepower, but they will not create fields. So they give the same effect as plowing, but they don't create fields. Now cultivators, disc harrows, and power harrows are all identical. They do the same job. They prepare your field for the next sowing as it says right down here. Basically it's turning the earth over and doing it in such a way that it doesn't disturb the soil too much. It helps prevent soil erosion, things like that. That's in the real world in the game. It's just a means to an end. <laughs> you need to have your field cultivated before you can seed or plant in it again. So these are your cultivators and they run from tiny to massive. Now, next thing we come to are cedars. Cedars come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from three meters all the way up to a whopping massive 25.6. They will seed wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, oil seed, radish, and grass. Some of these cedars allow you to bypass the cultivator state because they are called direct drills. So if I look at this agro mash right here, it says additionally, this machine offers the possibility to seed directly. So I could harvest a field, come back in with this seeder and plant right back into it without having to cultivate it. Also keep in mind that your seeders sometimes will take fertilizer so you can feed, seed and fertilize at the same time. So I'm doing three jobs in one with the agro mash. Planters are very similar to seeders except they will plant corn, sunflowers, soybeans, um, yes, sugar beets, and cotton. None of the planters are direct drills, but they will fertilize. So you will have to cultivate before you use these or have a cultivated field to use them on, but some of them do provide fertilizers, so you can still get two jobs in one. Moving right along, we are looking at crop protection. Now these again are sprayers, the same as in our vehicles category. 
we have different sizes, widths, and such, and they will generally all do herbicide or fertilizer, depending on what you want to, need, you want to use or need at any given time. Fertilizer technology, same thing. Well, not quite the same thing. These are generally used to fertilize your field. However, this is also how you would spread lime on your field if your field is requiring lime. So these are just spreaders for that particular purpose, fertilizer or lime. But again, check down here because you don't know for sure whether they take both if you don't check. Next, we're talking about manure spreaders. These are specifically designed to use your cow poop. <laughs> very basic you load your manure from your cattle pen into one of these bad boys turn it on drag it down your field and it will spread the manure on your field to fertilize them slurry tanks are the same thing except they use slurry instead of manure slurry is basically just liquid manure uh, some of these have built-in sprayers on them like the zoon hammer that i'm using on my ravenport series right now it will run 14.8 meters, but if you go up to something like the Samson, um, you're probably going to need to pick up an attachment like this TD12 right here. So I'll see it says PG220, and if I look down here, it wants the TD12 as an attachment to spread the slurry with. Weeders. Weeders are exactly what they say. I happen to have one, so let me show you what it does. So I've got a field of wheat here growing, and you can see it's got lots of weeds in it. Now, when weeds are in their first state, you can save yourself a little bit of cash by getting a weeder. All you have to do is unfold it, drop it down to the ground, drag it across the ground, and it's going to chop your weeds for you. If the weeds grow up beyond this state and they turn into flowers, then you have to spray herbicide, but this can save you some money in the long run. So that is what weeders do. Moving right along, we have mowers. Mowers do exactly what they say they do. They mow grass. Attach this to your tractor, turn it on, drop it down, drive down your field, and mow your grass. The Pottinger Novacat 301 and the Novacat X8 work in conjunction. You would put the smaller on your the front of your tractor, generally speaking, and you would put this butterfly mower on the rear so that you can mow in a wider swath. But mowers are mowers. Just like your push mower back home, only big industrial size. <laughs> Moving right along, we go down to tetters. What's a tetter do? Well, tetters turn grass over. I happen to have one, so let's go take a look. Now, in base game farm sim, if you want to make hay, you're first going to have to mow your grass. The second thing you have to do is run a tetter over it. This is a tetter. All it does is flip the grass. Now, in the real world, we do, they do use tetters to flip grass over just like this, but it doesn't instantly turn grass to hay. Unlike in the game where you can see the grass changing color and it is automatically turning into hay. Wind rowers, wind rowers are also known as rakes. Some people just simply call them rakes. And the reason they're called rakes is that they pull your loose material from the ground into easily collectible windrows. So this is a windrower I've got attached to uh, my little Fent tractor here. These don't require a lot of power, so you can use a fairly big one, but you can see basically what this is doing for me. It's pulling my hay, my freshly made hay, by the way, together and turning it into a nice, neat windrow. Now I can come back through and collect that very, very easily. Next we've got loading wagons. Well, how convenient because we just made nice neat windrows. Loading wagons will allow you to pick things up from the ground and it pulls it right in. These come in various shapes and sizes. They do tend to be fairly expensive however, so keep that in mind. There are some smaller ones that aren't too outrageous, but again, uh, sometimes size matters. <laughs> So right here, I have got a forage wagon or a loading wagon. All I have to do is turn it, turn it on. You can see that header drop down to the ground. I run along my windrow. These are much tinier than our grass back there, but it's now going to collect the straw off the ground and put it right into the trailer so I can transport it somewhere safe. Next on our list is baling technology. I think this is reasonably self-explanatory. If you have a high fat baler with a single axle on it, those are going to make round bales. If you've got a short, longer 
baler with two axles on it, those are generally going to make square bales. We also have bale wrappers. What these do is once you've made your round bales, well, once you've made your bales, I should say, because this will tell you this will do square or round, you can bring these in and wrap them in this plastic wrap, and that will turn your bale into silage so you don't have to use a silage clamp. The four stack, you can come in, collect bales, it will stack them stack them up for you. Once they're stacked, they'll be easier to load onto a wagon. However, you don't need the four stack if you've got this automatic bale trailer, which you can run along the field four square bales only, and it will load your bales and you can transport them where you want them and automatically unload them. This is actually a very nice trailer. The Schmetterling is for carrying round bales. I do not recommend these. <laughs> they are a massive hassle. And then we have the Flegel bale trailer right here. The Flegel bale trailer is specifically designed to haul bales. One side will flip up and open. You can load your bales in there, close it back down, and your bales will stay as you move them where you want them to go. The only difference between that and the Arcusin is that you have to manually load and unload them. Chainsaws, pretty self-explanatory. Buy yourself a chainsaw, you can cut down a tree. I have, a, I have a tutorial on that as well if you'd like more information about chainsaws. Forestry equipment. This is a special breed in and of itself. First we start with the tree planter. You can buy pallets of saplings to load this up. It's just like any other planter. You turn it on, you drop it down, you roll across the field, and it will plant trees for you. The DFM is a saw that you can attach to the front of a tractor, turn it on, roll up to a tree, and chop it down. This long neck combi plus, the general idea behind this is you attach it to the front of your tractor, you come up to the end of a log, you can clamp it, the end of the log will rest against this little scoop right here, you can lift the log up and move it where you want it to go. The FSI, this is a stump grinder, so you can attach this to your tractor, move it to a stump, turn it on, lower it down, and it will grind the stumps out of the ground for you. Now these two gens pieces of equipment here, these are wood chippers. We'll unfold them, turn them on, and chop your timber into wood chips. Then we've got another one of these. This is a pull behind log trailer with a crane on it. Again, I can't recommend those. And then we've got a semi-trailer, the Flegel Timber Runner, for hauling longer trees the animals category and this has several pieces of equipment in it first we've got a standard water trailer this is specifically designed for transporting water to your your cattle pens the next two are TMR mixers they're just a trailed version of a TMR mixer so you would put your straw or put not your yeah put your hay your silage and your straw in one of these and it will mix the total mix ration for you this, 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 and this are all bale shredders. So if you have a bale of straw and your cattle or pigs or whatever need straw, you are going to need a bale shredder. What a bale shredder does, I've got one right over here, is you just load some straw bales into it and it's going to chop these bales into straw. I'll hook up here. And now you can see that my pig pen here wants some straw and this bale shredder is going to shred that bale right into it and fill it up with straw. Moving right along, we have animal transports, pretty self-explanatory trailers to haul animals with. Uh, the first is a horse trailer. Make sure you're looking down here because not all of these do all the same thing. This one is specific to horses, but the rest of them will generally do cows, pigs, or sheep. Now levelers, levelers are something that not many people use in real life. They make a big difference in the game, not quite so much. These are used if you've got piles of chaff or silage in a bunker silo. You can use these particular pieces of equipment to either push it around or to help compact it. Front loaders, these are specific to attaching to a tractor so you can use them as a loading, as a loader. So if you need a loader, but you don't want to buy one from our 
miss many categories over here you could just buy a front load if your tractor allows a front loader attacher then you can buy these front loaders for that tractor and then all of the different tools that you can use now these tools are specific to front loaders as i'm going to show you here in just a second because we also have wheel loaders telehandlers skid steer loaders all right here these categories all have the same equipment in it but they will only work on the type of loader that you have in fact there's a couple of saws that come for skid steers here so keep that in mind if you bought a wheel loader for example you need to buy equipment from the wheel loader category to be able to use it next category we have is low loaders what's a low loader well it's basically a flatbed trailer when you start installing mods if you start installing mods you're going to find out anytime you've got a flatbed you are pretty much um, it's going to get tossed into the low loader category some have ramps on the back some of them don't this particular low loader that the game provides you with detaches into two pieces like so it throws down a couple of ramps and allows you to put your piece of equipment up on that trailer like so <laughs> much better much better than I do it anyway so much equipment there you can get it on like so and back up to the trailer pick it up and now I can haul my tractor wherever it needs to go keep in mind that these vehicles that are riding on these particular trailers are not terribly stable and there is no way to chain or strap them header trailers everybody loves to hate header trailers <laughs> what header trailers are for well they are to haul harvester headers behind you now this is a header trailer right here it's specifically designed to carry a header keep in mind it's got a high side and a low side you always want to come at it from the low side you're basically just going to drive your header up to it you're going to try to center your header over the supports get it up like so drop your header down in real life these would lock into place so once your headers on your trailer then you can bring your harvester around hook right up to this trailer and tow your header like so now keep in mind that very much like the low loader these do not strap in they actually don't clip in and if you turn too sharp the heads can fall right off the trailer that's why most of us don't like or use them weights are self-explanatory weights are used on tractors or other pieces of equipment to counterbalance so if i've got a tractor that's got a heavy piece of equipment on the back say a heavy plow that i'm pulling and my front wheels start coming off the ground i can put a weight on the front of that tractor to counterbalance weights come in different sizes different weight <laughs> and so sometimes you might have to play with it until you figure out which weight's going to work best for you belt systems belt systems are very straightforward these are used to pick something up from the ground and transport it up a conveyor belt into a trailer they'll pretty much pick up anything with the exception of this grime or the uh, the grima grima it's definitely grima this is specific to potatoes or sugar beets but the other three are designed for loading anything pretty much off of the ground our final category in tools is the miscellaneous category we've got this fuel trailer right here you can haul this around you can take it to the gas station fill it up with diesel fuel and run it right out to the field so that your equipment can refuel without having to come off the field the trailed lifter is designed specifically for tractors that don't have three point hitches so if your tractor only has if your tractor only has a pin hitch on the back of it you could attach the trailed lifter and now your tractor has a three point hitch on the back so you would back this up to your whatever implement a plow or whatever and you could now attach to that and use your tractor and last but not least in this category the meadow roller vario i don't know anybody who uses this i tried it when i was a new player and the whole purpose of this thing is simply 
to turn a field back into standard ground. And you can see how that, you know, even through this field of wheat, I can just turn this right back into regular ground. It's no longer a field wherever I roll this thing. There are better ways to do this. I'm sure this was added before, say, the landscape tool came out. The landscape tool will do this much more efficiently than the roller, but it's nice to know what it does. Our next category is our objects category. This is very straightforward. Big bags, you can buy different types of bulk commodities, lime, fertilizer, seeds, and different animal feeds. Pallets, same thing. Fertilizer, herbicide, seeds, saplings, poplar, and then bales. Obviously, you can buy whatever type of bale you might need at any given time. Last thing we're going to look at is the placeables category. Now this is all the stuff you might want on your farmyard and most of these are self-explanatory. You probably know what they do by now, but we've got animal pens. You can have a dog on your farm if you would like. Chicken coops, cow pastures, horse paddocks, sheep, etc. Pigs. Miscellaneous has multiple things in it. It's got a pressure washer place this on your farm you can bring your vehicle up to it and wash it clean you can place your own workshop on your farm with the vehicle workshop so you don't have to run it to the shop in town all the time you can just repair your vehicles right on the farm this gens is a log chipper or a chipper that instead of having to haul it automatically sells them so you can just throw logs in here and it will automatically sell your logs sell the wood chips directly to whoever or to the sawmill I guess they're saying this is being sold to the sawmill but this is a direct chipper you better chip a lot of logs to make 72 grand back and then a water station you can place this anywhere on your farm and like I said with the water trailer you can pull right up to this thing fill your water up and go give your animals a drink next category we're gonna look at is decoration and that's exactly what it is it's just little items you can place on your farm they don't do anything they're just there to add a little extra something. Silos, silos do exactly what they say. They're there to store crops. Probably had or used one of these already. A hayloft is specifically designed for storing hay or straw, up to 250,000 liters. Bunker silos are also known as clamps or silage clamps. These are used for turning chaff into silage. Sheds, sheds are very basic and straightforward small medium and large basically and uh they're there to store your equipment farmhouses i don't think we really need to uh <laughs> even talk about although this map also has a mod this is the mod test map by the way if you've made it this far so ladies and gentlemen that is the farm sim 19 shop i get a lot of new players on my channel and they're always asking for more information and several people asked for an explanation of what the different things in the shop do so i hope this covered it for you guys i really really do if there's uh, any questions or you'd like more information about something check my tutorials out there's lots of information there also you're welcome to uh, ask any questions directly drop a comment down below i'll be happy to answer it for you I'm very responsive to comments. So this is the shop. If you found this video useful, helpful, informative, or otherwise, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. I very much appreciate you coming along for the ride. And until next time, take care.